or was freezing. <laughs> Steve. Yeah. Like I say, it's eight kids. We've um, pray for us because we haven't got a crane. <laughs> It's not like flipper when I go down in the water. We can get Sam down, but getting him back up might be it. <laughs> so, Sam, uh, can, can I just hold yeah. it? Yeah. Or, Bob, can I just make that? So we can. Oh, we'll get it back. <laughs> Sam, uh, tell us uh, why are you being baptised now? Well, I was baptised when I was a baby. But I thought it's really important now that I'm, you know, well, 31, youngs. I give my life to God. And you know, God's played such an important role in my life. You know, I think about what the age of either one or two, I was baptized with a brain tube of oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Diagnosed, yeah. Diagnosed with a brain tumor. Mm-hmm. And they didn't give me a long prognosis, they didn't have long to live. But uh, one day the tumor just went away. Wow, that's amazing. And God's been just such an influence in my life. He's never uh, ceased to amaze me. I've just had an amazing journey, incredible journey with him. Great. That's awesome, Sam. And we've loved having you here since about January, is that when you showed yeah, up? Yeah, January. Well, December I started December. at the Christmas service, and then yeah. I came to the New Year's one. Yeah. Well, it's so great that you're here. And um, let me ask you two questions that we ask everybody. Do you renounce the world, the flesh, and the devil? Yes, I do. And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. All right. Well, before we baptize you, Bob's going to give you a scripture. This is a scripture which we commend to you, Sam. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, and the new has come. Wonderful. Sam, on the confession of your faith, stand a bit further forward. <laughs> <laughs> On the confession of your faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do you want to just share a couple of words of why you're being baptized? Yeah, very briefly. Um, I guess to start off with, um, I don't think anybody here would be more surprised than I am by actually standing in this <laughs> right now. Uh, it certainly wasn't in my life script, but it clearly was in the Lord's. Uh, I did a quick calculation while I was sitting there. For about 95% of my life, I've been variously agnostic, atheist, couldn't care less this. <laughs> but that's all changed through the grace of Christ. Wow. Amen. That's awesome. Um, I think that's great. I'm going to ask you, do you renounce the world, the flesh, and the devil? Yes. And do you confess Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Great. Bob? Now, I've spoken to Ray and asked his permission uh, to do this. I've not spoken to, to Nicola about this, but uh, 26th of September 1993, we held our first baptism service right here. And Graham's wife, Pam, together with his daughters Nicola and Julia, were baptized, which is almost 27 years ago. And I know that in heaven, Today, uh, lots of people rejoicing and shouting 
in crying, but there is one voice that I know will be above all those, and that will be, sorry, will be Pam, who talks about prayer. One person who prayed, and we as elders prayed with us so often, and Graham always gave us permission, wonderfully, to pray with her, as numbers of you here know. She said to me, and I know a number of other elders, Bob, you'll never give up praying for my wonderful husband, Graham, will you? And I said, no, we won't. And now, look, 27 years <laughs> old. These verse from Philippians, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Graham, on the confession of your faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.